In direct variation, if y varies directly as x, the equation will be y varies directly as x. Then, we will be using k as the constant of variation. So, it will be y is equal to kx if y varies directly as x. It says here that we have to find the value of y when x is equal to 15. But before that, we have to find the value of the constant first using the first two given values, which are y is equal to 24 and x is equal to 6. So, let us substitute. It will be this y will become 24, so we'll write 24 equals k, the constant of variation, and then x is equal to 6. Substitute 6. Alright. Now, after that, solve for k. Just divide both sides by 6. Cancel 6. Now, you only have k on this side equals divide 24 by 6 24 divided by 6 that is equal to 4 so now the constant of variation is equal to 4 and to solve for y when x is equal to 15 we will use this equation again but this time instead of using k we will use the value that we have obtained so it will be y is equal to will not write k anymore instead we will use positive 4. So it will become 4, then copy the variable x. y is equal to 4x. Now we can solve for y using x is equal to 15 by substituting. So it will become y is equal to, copy the constant 4, then x, substitute it, magiging 15. This one, x is equal to 15. Then solve. y is equal to 4 times 15 is equal to 60. So the value of y when x is 15 is 60. Another one, if y varies directly as the square of x, so still it will be y is equal to varies directly as the square of x, so instead of just writing x, it will become x square. Then again, we will use k as the constant of variation. So we have y is equal to kx squared. Now, to solve for y when x is equal to 10, we have to solve for the constant first by using y is 8 and x is 4. So let's just substitute. y is equal to 8. y will become 8 equals, copy k. Then x will become positive 4. Copy the exponent 2. Then solve. So, this will still be 8 equals k. Then, 4 square will become 16. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Alright. Now, solve for k. By dividing both sides by 16, divide by 16 to cancel. So, cancel 16. Now, we only have k on this side. And 8 over 16, just simplify by dividing it by 8. So 8 divided by 8, that's 1. 16 divided by 8, that's 2. So the constant is equal to 1 half. Now we will use this value of constant to solve for y when x is equal to 10. We'll go back to this equation, but this time we'll change k into 1 half. So we'll write 1 half, then copy the variable x square. All right. Now, let's substitute. Solve for y using x is equal to 10. So, y will become equal to 1 half. And x will become 10. So, it will be 10 square. Then, solve. 1 half times 10 square is 10 times 10. So, that will be 100 then multiply, you just have to multiply it to the numerator. So 1 times 100, it will become 100 over 2. 100 over 2 is just the same with 50. 100 divided by 2 is 50. It means y is equal to 50 when x is 10. In inverse variation, if y varies inversely as x, the equation will be y 
is equal to constant over x. Since it is inversely, the variable x will be the denominator of the constant. Then, to solve for y when x is equal to 2, we have to solve for the constant first using y is equal to 1 third and x is equal to 18. So let's substitute. y will become 1 third. 1 third, this one. We change y into 1 third. Equals constant will still be the same over x. The value of x is 18. Alright. Now solve for k. To solve for k with this situation, you just have to cross multiply. It will become 1 times 18 and 3 times k. So let's solve 1 times 18, that's 18, equals 3 times k, that's 3k. And to solve for k, just divide both sides by 3 to cancel. So cancel 3, you only have k on this side. And 18 divided by 3, that is equal to 6. So this is the constant of variation, 6. Now we will use this 6 to rewrite this equation. So y is equal to kx will become y is equal to k will be changed to positive 6 over the variable x. So now we have y is equal to 6 over x. Now substitute, find y when x is equal to 2. So to solve for y, just substitute the value of x. y is equal to 6 over x and that's 2. So magiging over 2. Then simplify. 6 divided by 2, that is equal to 3. It means that y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 2. In joint variation, if y varies jointly as x and z, this is the same with direct variation. But this time, we have two variables. So the equation will just be y varies jointly. So we'll combine x and z. And the constant will still be k. So we have y is equal to k x z jointly as x and z. Now, to solve for y when x is 20 and z is 30, we have to solve for the constant first. By using y is equal to 45, x is equal to 18, and z is equal to 10. So let's substitute. y is 45. Let's write 45 equals copy the constant k then x is equal to 18 so let's just write 18 times z z is equal to 10 all right now solve so 45 copy equals k multiply this two that will be 180 then solve for k by dividing both sides by 180 Alright, so 180 will be cancelled. Now we only have k on this side. Then 45 over 180, simplify. You may divide both the numerator and the denominator by 45. So 45 divided by 45, that's 1. 180 divided by 45, that's 4. So the constant of variation is 1 fourth. Now let's rewrite the equation and change the constant into 1 fourth. So y is equal to k will become 1 fourth and then copy x z. Now this is the new equation. We may now find for y when x is equal to 20 and z is equal to 30. So let's substitute. Find the value of y. So copy 1 fourth. When x is 20, so let's substitute. x will become 20 and z will become 30. Solve. So this will be 1 fourth 20 times 30 that will be equal to 600. Then multiply the numerator to 600. When you are multiplying whole number to a fraction, you just have to multiply it to the numerator. So this will be equal to 600 times 1 is 600 over 4. Simplify. 600 divided by 4 is equal to 150. We call it combined variation because it is combination of direct 
and inverse variation. Now, if y varies directly as x and inversely as z, the equation will be y, so directly as x, that will be equal to x, and then the constant will be here, and inversely as z, so it means z will become the denominator of variable x and constant. So the equation will be y is equal to kx over z. Now let us solve for the constant using y is 4, x is 6, and z is 3. Let's substitute. y is 4 equals constant k, then x will be 6 over z will be 3. Solve. So this copy equals k times 6 over 3. So we may divide this to 6 divided by 3. Copy lang muna natin yung k. Then 6 divided by 3, that's equal to 2. So for k by dividing both sides by 2. Cancel 2. So now you only have k on this side. And 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So the constant of this variation is equal to positive 2. Now let's change the equation and use positive 2 for constant. Copy y and k will become positive 2. x, copy. Variable z, copy. Now we may find y when x is 15 and z is 10. So let's just substitute y is equal to 2 is constant, just copy that. Then x, change it with 15. And z, change it with 10. Okay, now solve. 2 times 15, that's equal to 30. Copy the denominator 10. 30 over 10, this is the same with dividing them. 30 divided by 10 will give us positive 3. So y is equal to 3 when x is 15 and z is 10.